Hello, today we are talking about the Call Me Carson situation. I don't care if you agree with me or disagree with me, and I don't care if my friends disagree with me or agree with me. This is just my take. So, is he a pedophile? No. People are blowing this way too out of proportion. It's like, he's a pedophile. He groomed kids. 19 and 17 is all you need to know. It's a two-year age gap, and it's a normal age gap. That's, like, normal. It's, don't, like, high schoolers... Do, like, don't, like, 19-year-olds date 16-year-olds in high school as well? So, like, I don't know why people are saying he's a pedophile, and multiple people do this. Um, and also, the original person that came out with this information in the first place, who started this drama in the first place, she, uh, she even said that he wasn't a pedophile. So, I don't know where people are coming from saying he's a pedophile, he's a pedophile, he's preying on the he's super young children. No, he's not. She's 17, dude. Like, uh, being a pedophile is like a 21-year-old, like, like getting interested in, like, a fucking 4-year-old or a very young person. Not a 19-year-old dating a 17-year-old. You are retarded if you think... I'm sorry if you disagree with me, but I think you're pretty retarded if you think that a 19-year-old dating a 17-year-old is being a pedophile. Because it's not. They're almost the same age. It's literally two years apart. And another thing that people said was that he was taking advantage of his power, including me. But I didn't look into it before, but now that I looked into it, that I think that's kind of wrong as well. Uh, to be honest, I, I just think it's kind of wrong as well. Because, first of all, people didn't look into how many subscribers he had back then. He had only 9,000 subscribers back then since he was 19. So, no, I don't think he would take advantage like of that. I don't think he would just... I don't think he would, he would have a power trip over 9,000 people liking his content. Like, I, I just don't think that that's reasonable. I, I don't know. <laughs> to me, it just looks like two teens dating each other. Like, that's all it looks like to me. Like, it, it, it doesn't look like anything, like, the like super awful. And, like, you know, it's not like EDP or something like that. Like, it's not that bad. Like, I don't know. It just doesn't seem, like, awful to me. Like, some people are blowing this out of proportion, saying that he's a pedophile and a groomer. N no. I, I just simply think it's two teens talking to each other over a Discord message, and it got blown way too out of proportion. Uh, I, 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 don't, I, I don't really know. But that's just my take. I just don't think he's a pedophile or a groomer. Uh, I don't know why people are calling him a, him a groomer as well. I thought groomer meant like fucking like touching somebody inappropriate, in inappropriately when they didn't want to be touched. That's what I thought a groomer meant. But apparently people were saying that text messages and texting somebody is now being a groomer. I don't know, man. I, I just don't think he's being a groomer or a pedophile or something like that. Again, I think people are blowing this way out of proportion. And uh, I, I, I simply think it's two teens talking to each other. But that's just my take. Again, I don't care if you disagree with me or agree with me. Again, I'm not going to like talk to my friends about this going into a heated debate. I've already went into several heated debates in the past with my friends. And I've learned from my mistakes like um, I'm, that I just sh simply shouldn't do it. So yeah, that's really it. Um, I'll see you guys later.